friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is my last video of my September closeout. Five videos, five days to close out September. And today we are going to be um, just figuring out what my debt payoff progress was for the month, what my net worth is for the month, and just kind of what my spending looked like and just give, a, give us an overall picture of how September went and give us things to think about moving into the month of October. So as we do every month, we'll start with my debt payoff. And I did already pre-fill in a few things. So you'll see here, we have two debts left if you're new to my channel. They are just my student loans. They're both in forbearance. So the interest rates are zero, my minimum payments are zero, and these are my end of month balances. And this month we were able to put $250 in um, my envelope to pay off my student loan for, which is my bigger loan, which when interest kicks back in, it has more interest and I use the debt avalanche method. So we pay off our highest interest rate debt first. So our total monthly debt payment was $250 for the month. And now we're just going to do our progress together. So last month, our debt balance was $4,234.32. And now we get to add up these numbers and see what our current debt balance is. So we'll just add these two together and we are officially under $4,000, which is super exciting. So we are at $3,984.32, which means, let's see how much we have paid off this month. Oh, I already know. We paid off $250 because there's no interest. So we made $250 worth of progress. So now let's do a see what percentage of that that was. So 250 divided by what our starting balance was means that we paid off 5.9%, so almost 6% of our debt balance this month. So that is really good. I'm really excited about this under 4,000 number. So that is super exciting. So we will just put that over here as well. So now let's see what our overall progress is since we started this journey. We started with over $13,000 in debt and now we are under $4,000. So we have paid off $9,217.06 and that means we are 69.82% done. So a little over two thirds of the way done, less than $4,000, we got this. So that is really exciting, a new milestone that we hit. And then my net worth is next. And I did go ahead and pre-populate some of this as well. In my last video, if you missed it, I'll link it up above, but we did, ca we did um, count our cash envelopes and our sinking funds. So we had $642 in our cash envelopes, which is my first asset. My second asset is my sinking funds, which had $4,141. My emergency fund, which is in a savings account, has $5,029.46. In my ally savings account that I recently opened, which is high yield, we have $6,002.64. My car, as of today, was worth $7,725. I get that number from Credit Karma, so I'm not sure how accurate it is, but we'll go with it. And then as of today, my retirement account for my full-time job, I have $24,591.51. And then I did open a Roth IRA this month and just transferred some money out of my Ally Savings account into there, and it has not... Um, been invested yet, so it's just at a flat $2,000. So total in assets, we have $50,131.61. So we reached that 50k asset mark, which is super, super cool. So I honestly never thought that I would have that much in assets in like hold, cold hard cash, so that's really nice. And then my debts are just these two, which I will just add up again really quick. So that means our total debt is less than 4,000. So if we subtract that from the $50,131.61, we will get my total net worth, which is 
$46,147.29. And last month we were under 45,000, so that means we have officially met our 45,000 milestone mark as well, which is super exciting. So let's see what the difference from last month to this month in our net worth is. So last month we had 44,699.98. So that means this month we increased our net worth by $1,447.31. So that is a combination of paying off debt as well as increasing our assets through retirement, through savings, through um, sinking funds. So the percentage then for that, if we divide that by what we had last month, is that right? This is saying we increased it by 32.38%. Let's see. Here we go. I think I was off. Yeah, I was just off by a decimal or something. I messed up. I was like, we did not increase it by 32%. 3.24%. That makes more sense. And if we look at, so we increased it by about 3% this month. Let's look at how August did in comparison. We increased it by almost 7% in August. So the jump in August was much bigger than September. Some of that is because of my savings and my sinking funds. And some of that is how the market performs for retirement, because this is where I see most of my jumps in net worth is just through investing, which shows the importance of investing and the importance of compound interest. So that is all exciting. Next up, we have our monthly closeout, and I have already filled in some of these categories, but we do need to finalize what my bills were for the month. So we can go to my monthly budget, and my bills were $1,103.31 for the month, which is less than what we had budgeted for. So we can fill that in here. $1,103.31. Well, we won't do cents for here. Let's just round up to four. And then cash envelope savings. Let's also refer to our budget and see. So we've already done our spending. Cash envelope savings in total, we saved $478. So we saved $478 instead of the expected $244, which is exciting. And then let's see for our sinking funds what we oops, what we saved. We save 670 towards sinking funds instead of the 452 extra debt we put 250 instead of the 200 and so we can add up our spending and our bills to get this next one so we spent 1744 dollars on bills and spending our savings categories, we saved a total of $1,148 and our debt payoff was $250. So we were neither over nor under in any of our spending categories because I always pull from sinking funds if I overspend. For bills, we were under budget by $11. In our cash envelope savings, we were over budget, which is a good thing in both of our savings categories. And this was by um, $234 in our cash savings, cash envelope savings, and then $218 in our sinking funds. We saved 50 extra dollars towards debt. And then in total for these, um, we were under budget for spending, over budget for savings, and over budget for debt. And some of these are just the same. We were over in savings by a total of $452 and $11 when it comes to bills and spending. So percentage-wise, um, let's see. So 
what we'll do for percentages and we'll take what we spent so like 300 for groceries and divide it by our total available funds which is this number so we'll divide that by 3174 and you can multiply it by 100 to see easily what your percentage is and this was 9.5 percent of our overall funds so we'll just go through and do that for all of them all right, so in total, our bills were a little more than 30%, which is not, um, the goal is to be less than 30%. So let's put that in here just so I remember. So less than 30% is the goal there. And for bills and spending together, the goal is to be less than 50. Um, that's just like my personal goal. Oh gosh. So didn't reach those, and I do like want savings to be over 30%, and then, so really I would like to do um, over 10% for debt then, because what would that be, 50, 80? So maybe we'll do, yeah, just over 10% in general for that. So some things to work on are going to be um, decrease spending, because I have cut my bills back quite a bit. Um, so I don't know that I can pull back on um, bills, but I can pull back on spending. And then I'm going to say increase debt payoff. And for this, it's especially out of sinking funds because I could save more if I just stopped spending so much out of my sinking funds. So there's that. So then now we can lasso because y'all taught me how to do that these numbers i think i might have copied too many and put them over here nice the lines aren't quite perfect so i have to kind of redo it but i'll just erase that okay so that's how much we spent and then i will just take over what our percentages were. And do the same thing. So thank y'all for teaching me that trick because that's such a time saver. So over here, let's go ahead and highlight our positive things. So these are definitely some positive things over here um, and that's probably all I'm gonna highlight because I do want to do more for debt and less for spending so we'll just leave that and then over on this side we percentage wise I'm gonna look for spending because uh, last month was a five-week month so it's the dollar amounts are off um, so we did better in our going out budget this month just by a little bit and in our spending and in our fun so those were good. Thank you for whoever just commented. <laughs> um, bills were more, so that's not a good thing. Our cash envelope savings was less, so that's not good, but our sinking funds was higher, so we'll highlight that one. That didn't autocorrect. There we go. Extra debt was a slightly more, so we'll give that a little plus. My bills and spending were more, that's bad, so we won't highlight that. Savings was less, but debt payoff was better, percentage-wise. So the highlighted categories are the ones where I did better this month than last month. So in general, hopefully next month, I will have lots more highlighted. Now for the last page, before we get into our trackers, we're just gonna do a rundown of debt. And basically my available funds for debt payoff were $3,174. I put 250 of that towards debt, which is about 8%. And 100% of it went towards student loan number four. And I haven't actually made the payment, but I will. Um, and then for retirement, I add in how much I put, uh, how much gets withheld from my paycheck. So that's why this is a higher amount. Um, so total in monthly savings, we had the 235 that gets pulled out of my check. And then, and then we also saved $1,148 on top of that. 
So that means our total monthly savings is $1,383. And if we divide that by what was available to us, that is 40.57%, which is really good, I think. Um, so 235 of the $1,383 meant that of the money I put towards savings this month, 17% of that went towards my uh, retirement account. Um, I'm not counting the money that went into my Roth IRA because it was just a transfer from another savings account. I wasn't actively saving from this dollar amount. So that's 0% this month, but that will change next month. Um, my cash envelopes, we saved 478 and 478 divided by $1,383 is 34.6%. And then for my sinking funds, it was 670, which was 48.4%. So if we add those up, 48.4 plus 34.6 plus 17, that should equal 100%. And it does, so we are good. So reflecting on the month, some wins were um, opening a Roth IRA. I guess like my Texas trip savings went well. But some areas for growth are decreased spending from my sinking funds. Um, I'm gonna say increase money towards debt. Um, oh, another win is being over 45K in net worth. That's a huge win. And then um, less than 4K in debt. That's also a win. Um, and then I, another area for growth, I think I'm going... Yeah, nope. Yeah, I'm... Whoa. I'll just say um, contribute to Roth IRA. My handwriting is trash today, so sorry about that. Okay, so that is it for my closeout pages, but now we are going to update some trackers, which is super fun. Oops, um, it's under debt payoff. So, well, I guess I should have reminded myself what my debt payoff, my new debt number is. Let's write this down on a sticky because I always reference it. So we have a total of $3,984.32 left and we paid off $250. So I'm just going to have this off to the side as a reference. And now we can go back to the debt payoff tracker. So as of October 1st, our debt will be less than $4,000. So our new debt balance will be around here. So... For this, we will say October 1, 2021, our new balance is $3,984.32. And I still need to fill out the rest of these down here. So that's kind of what our debt payoff slope is looking like, which is great. And then for this tracker for my total debt, uh, we started with $4,625.32. And this is the progress we made in July and August. So let's see how much progress we made in September. We paid off $250. Um, well, let's see how much we paid off. So we started with 462432, and now we are at 3984.32. So $640 is what we've paid off so far, which means we can have six lines filled in, almost seven. So we have one, two, three, four. So that means I can fill in two lines today. So we made a little less progress than August, but that's also because we had um, one less week of oops, side income money to work with. I'm just going to make these darker because they were kind of hard to see on the screen. So this is $90, $92 per line, and then let's redo this. The blue is really, I've noticed, is hard to, oops, to see. So we have 462432, and now we'll just make, you know what? You taught me how to lasso. 
we will do this instead. So you can lasso it and then do color and change it to black. Yes. Okay, good. Moving on to hats. We are going to also change this to red or to black. So 462432 minus what we are at now means we paid off 640 and the number of hats, each hat is worth this dollar amount, the $46. We'll divide that by 4624. So we can fill in 13 hats and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight filled in right now. So we can fill in nine, 10, let's do nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we can fill up to this one. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Yes, up to that one. Okay, so then we'll just go in and say that these were for September of 21. Great. So then now what we are going to do is for specifically the loan that I'm working on now, which was initially worth 3926 and last month we were at 3535.39, we paid off 250, so now we're at 3,285. So let me write that number down. Okay, so the new balance is $3,285. So that is right around this line here, just a little bit lower. So we will just combine those lines here. It's gonna be curved, yeah. And so that is for October, October 1st, 2021. Our new balance was $3,285.39. So that is what our slope is looking like for this one debt. Okay, and then for our diploma, let's see, we started with $3,925.39, and now we are at $3,285.39, so 640 is what we paid off, and we can divide that by, um, oops, the number of lines that we have, which is 78 or how much they're worth. And so we can have eight lines filled out and we only have four filled out now. So that means we get to fill in four more. So that was for September. And then 640 is what we paid off. Let's divide that by what the hats are worth, which is 39.25. So we can fill in 16, which should be two full rows. Um, and I am going to make this black as well. So now we get to fill out the rest of this row for hats. And that is our progress for September. And that is it for our debt trackers, but now we can switch to our vacation tracker. My friend Lauren's wedding is fully funded. We are now working on Texas. I'm gonna recolor this black as well. And these. Okay, so I do believe my goal for this trip has changed yet again. So we need these to tell us what our new goal is. So for stay, our goal is 260, which we have accomplished. Our goal in the travel category is 465, which we have accomplished. Food and drink is 500, which we've accomplished. Entertainment is 450, which we have yet to accomplish. Spending is 100. And miscellaneous is 100. So that means we are tweaking this again. The new dollar amount is not 2,000, 
$1,875. So one eight seven five divided by the number of lines, which is 50, means that each line is now worth $37.50. So in total for Texas, we have saved One thousand six hundred and fifteen of the eighteen seventy-five that we need, so we are eighty-six percent of the way done, which is awesome. So eighteen seventy-five minus, or no, yeah, sixteen fifteen is how much we've saved. So let's divide that by, by what each line is worth. So that's thirty-seven point five. Um, I'm going to put in here. August of 21, and down here was July of 21. So now we can go up to line 43 for the month of September. Okay, so Texas is filled in. We are getting super close. So this was September of 21. So we just have a little bit left. We only have like seven more lines to fill in and we will complete this goal in the month of October. So that is it for today's video, my friends. Um, I hope you enjoyed my September closeout, my five videos in five days. I hope you checked out the Crafty Budgeter and Rochelle Adamson Budgets who also did closeout videos like this to end the month. I'll be back for a special video on Sunday for my one year YouTube anniversary. You will not want to miss it. Um, I'm really excited about it. So please tune in for that. And then we will hit the ground running with some cash stuffings after that for the month of October. I hope y'all have a great weekend and I'll catch you on my video on October 3rd. Bye.